Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Layback Gamer, and we're back with another Block Fortress weapon review. Today's episode, I'd, got, I'd gone back and look at the pre-made set of thumbnails that I had, as well as viewed them in the correct order that I had placed them. And we're now, I'm now officially back on track. I know which weapons I've already done and which ones I haven't. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and review the one that I should have reviewed in the last episode, but ended up doing the grenade launcher. And that is the sniper rifle, a long range and very powerful rifle. Damage is 100 to 150, has a range of 100 blocks, piercing very high. I may have a couple, I may have a mod. I don't have a mod. Uh, reload time of, I think it's around normally 8 seconds, but I have a couple reload mods, so obviously that sort of helps. A rate of, th of fire of 3.5 seconds and a carry capacity of 6. My opinion, one of the more niche weapons out there, something that, you know, when I first started playing, I did make a the mistake of playing with this weapon an awful lot. It would basically be my go-to, but as I continue to play it more and more, I realize that the sniper rifle doesn't really have a great use. I mean, it's excellent if you want to pick things off from long range, and with the style of gameplay that I, the style that I was going for, with my base building and where I set my barracks, it didn't really favor the sniper rifle, because essentially, for some a lot of my uh, builds, I always go middle because that way you're equal distance from all enemies and nothing can immediately spawn and start attacking you. But Sniper Rifle encourages you to be at a more longer range because this thing has a very long range. At 100 blocks, I'm pretty sure you could cover just about from one end to the other. Not in a perfect, it obviously not from one corner all the way to the opposite corner, but eh, roughly around there. Um, for mods, we have damage mod, damage mod, a range mod, stun mod, slow mod, armor piercing mod, ammo mod, reload mod, and the crappy tactical light mod. I don't have too much more to say about this weapon, so let's go ahead and queue into a into a game. Don't know why I started with that. Um, let's see here. That should do the trick. That should do very nicely, actually. Alright, just get my music all set up for a nice soothing play. Let's go ahead and... I don't have the sniper rifle in this. I, can, I can't afford it, apparently. Alright, we'll just get rid of one of you. I will be complimenting it with the shotgun, and as, of course, with, as with quite a few of the weapons that I have, it's always good to have the spotter on you. It just helps you out a lot more. So, without further ado, let's begin. As you can see, it really does act like a sniper and pulls you straight in. Zooms you very closely in, which is, it's both an upside and a downside to this weapon. Obviously, the closer they get, meaning the less you can see. But does the handle of horror of enemies like this, it's not ideal. You want to switch up to another weapon, like the shotgun, which is very good. Thankfully the reload time is not that well. 5 sec- 5.6 seconds is not that well. That's a good reload time. very bad. When you have- when you're sitting on... Like, 10 or 15 seconds. So, going to 5... To me, it's not bad. It's not that bad. It's not great, but... You know, I should say it's not bad. Example. 
and we're just slowly picking through all the enemies. Because you can likely just pick them all off before they get even close. In this little group here, if I had enough ammo, I could probably get through all of it. There we go. Let's just hit continue and leave and go for another field test. This one's going to be a bit of a different one, as I've stated before, as I am going to be starting a completely brand new one. We're just going to go ahead and go on a nice flat area. Start it on easy. And let's go. Now, I'm hoping that they end up coming out of not at the corner that I'm going to place it in, but I'm going to place this guy all the way, the barbarics, basically as far into the corner as I can. So I can't place it on the very edge, but I can place it right there. Yes, I would like to restart this game. Because, well, uh, they're got, they just spawn, the wave said it was going to come in on that, on the side, on one of the sides that I did not want it to come on. That's better. All right, so I can immediately equip the sniper rifle. And should be, this is it. Now this might be a little bit too far of a distance for us to handle. Matter of fact, I can't even see them. Oh, there's one. Definitely works a lot better from further away. And if I had a bot, I would definitely have the bot collecting that money. Also doesn't help that this tree is in the way. But yeah, this is a much better use of the sniper rifle. Even though there's only a few enemies out and this does get more and more. Having it all the way in this corner where you got a lot of room to fight back. Helps out. I missed. Come on from over there. Yep, we got a couple of guys coming this way. It's like a game of tower defense. I don't think I can. Oh, I can hit that guy from back here. This thing's got some range to it. Here comes another one. One more back, three more, four more back there. I can see a fifth one going through the trees. If you guys enjoy playing, like just sitting around at the base, either letting your turrets do all the work or your bot, this is also an effective strategy. This is perhaps one of the most, the, one of the most safest weapons to use in that You'll be far enough from the battlefield that you don't have to worry about accidentally dying. And you just have all you just have you're you're in the constant protection of your turrets. So if the enemy gets too close, it'll just blast you down. And last guy. And that's all. That's all of them. All right, so now here's the part where we go ahead and sort of I give my take on mods. Uh, damage wise, I think it's okay for damage to start, like that's a really good starting damage. If you really have to put a damage mod on, I would say definitely be one of your last and maybe only one or two. I mean, boosting that up by an extra 50%, you're getting about 150 to, I believe, 300 damage, which is not bad, especially since some of the enemies later game do come with a lot of health. Uh, the one thing that I didn't really think of when it came to this weapon is its potential on normal, because all, all the save files I currently have are on easier, and I have played some normal matches, although they don't end up going out 
off too well because I try to use very un, un, uh, unmodified turrets and a few a few, we a few weapons mixed in there, but I'm wondering if this would be a good strategy. Just camp back in a corner, surround yourself with turrets, and maybe you place it one or two blocks away from the spawn line. But uh, yeah, I could see that. I could see that working out. Uh, range mod? No, you don't need any more range. That thing's got in more than enough range. So that's an absolute no to the range. Stun mod? If you are encountering enemies that tend to ha that seem to have higher health than what your sniper can deal with, a stun mod isn't a half bad of a choice to keep them pinned there. Uh, I would much rather say go with the slow mod though. In addition to it costing three rare minerals less, although late game if you're really really going for say a, a very normal vibe build, I suppose rare minerals or isn't going to be that big of a deal, but I still think slow would be a bit of a better mod, and I, and I think that because I believe the slow chance is higher than the stun chance. I'm not 100% sure on that, don't quote me, I don't really play with slow or stun mods as often as I should, but I think slow would be better over stun, although both of them are very viable. Armor piercing, this thing has the maxed out armor piercing. I don't think you can go any more. If you want, you can go ahead and put on an armor piercing mod, but I, I don't think you really need it. You'll be going through just about anything with a sniper. Ammo capacity, yup, as well as it pairs well with reload. You have, obviously, the more ammo you have, the, fat, hey, the more you can fire at once. You increase the reload speed or decrease the reload speed, not increase it. And you'll be fought, you'll be using that sniper much more quickly. Ideally, you would go probably start all five reload, then three or two into ammunition. Uh, maybe you throw in a couple slow or a couple stun mods. Just pick either slow or stun. Don't try to go both. And if you really want to tack on a damage mod, but obviously the more ammo and reloads you have, the better. And as I always say, tactical light, garbage. So overall opinion of this, again, not a weapon I would recommend for beginners. I think this is more a little more of a skill weapon and something you can use on normal difficulty as long as you place your base in the right position. You don't want to you take this weapon out when you have your base in the middle. You want to be off to a corner so that it can, you can maximize the range value and so that you can pick off enemies as they come up. Of course, the drawback with that is you'll have a couple sides that are able to spawn very close to your base, but if you play right and have the right turrets, I think you could make that work out really well. Anyways, that is my review of the Sniper. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed. If you're interested in any more content aside from Block Fortress, I do Elder Scrolls Legends, some PlayStation games, and I'm going to be adding StarCraft, the campaigns, to the channel in about oh, 10 days. We're getting really close to that. I'm very excited. I'm going to be recording the first couple episodes at the end of the week. And share this video with anybody who you think would it enjoy my content not sure if they would really enjoy a review but if they really like the game and and want to hear an opinion on a weapon before they really try it out i'm going through all the weapons and all the turrets as well as the items so just tell them hey he's doing this guy's doing some reviews on this perhaps you could you know watch it probably not in that accent or that tone anyways until next time guys take it easy